When a screenwriter finishes a screenplay, is there a checklist that they should sort of mentally or physically check off in terms of the business aspects of getting the script out there? Not just proofreading and grammar and syntax, all that, but I'm talking about in terms of, you know, what are the next steps? Who should they be sending things out? Should they make a chart of who they sent it out to? I think it's a good idea to, you know, to have a, a checklist or a chart. Uh, certainly sending it out to a consultant or somebody who professional in the in the industry is is always very helpful because it gives you an idea of um, from somebody who has been in the industry a long time what is it that might what are the little things and some of the bigger things that might keep it from moving ahead uh, I think that also if you uh, if you have a I think one of the things that bothers me is is when I is when I see that people really haven't taken the time to proof. I'm not kidding you, that's a major thing. I have, when I was an executive, I actually had cohorts in my office who were also execs, who if they found more than three mistakes in the first 20 pages, they would not. They would stop reading and they would throw it in the trash. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, hate to, I hate to say that, but that happens. That really, honest to God, that, that does happen. Uh, on the other hand, I'm always looking, give me a reason to say yes, you know. So uh, make sure that your, your, you know, the structure of your, your screenplay is such that right off the bat it catches your attention, that, that we are, that you've got characters that are so relatable that we're going to want to see them and see them either succeed or, or to see the guy, the, the antagonist fail. Uh, that's one of the, the, one of the big things that I say is a lot of times people will pay more attention to the hero, and the unfortunate thing is they don't set up the antagonist well enough that it gives the hero enough um, enough enough contrast and interest. That's a big thing that I see a lot, and in, in sometimes in, in the things that I've read, is that they just the, whoever he's up against, uh, whether whether it doesn't have to be a a, a, a person, it could be the elements, you know, like a storm or something or or it could just, you know, it could just be himself, but you don't see enough contrast in what's going on, and so I think that's a, an, another big mistake that that people make, and that they they should take a look at it and have somebody read it, and just say, you know, and ask that question: Is my antagonist strong enough? Yeah. Do you understand what's at stake, and do you feel that the hero uh, has has worked hard enough to achieve that success? What's the difference, though, between getting coverage and getting consultation? Okay, coverage, um, a lot of people say, okay, yeah, I, I'm going to get coverage on this. So they will send it out. Coverage is something that we use in the studio just to see, just so that the executive will know what is the story about. Because they sometimes don't have time to read the whole script. It takes about an hour and a half to read a script. And with a thousand scripts coming in every month, it's a lot of reading. So that's why they have story departments who do the reading. Uh, so coverage is just like a book report. It has, a, it, it tells you, um, it has a little log line in the front, which is those one or two sentences that tells you the the general idea of what the story is about. And then it's basically just telling you the story, just like a regular book report. This is what happens, and it usually is done in chronological order. And then it usually tells you a little bit, you know, there'll be box scores or something that will tell you, okay, uh, is this a big budget? You know, where does it fall in the budget? Is it, uh, how do you, how would you grade it in terms of, do you think the dialogue was, was well written? Do you think the char you understood the characters and that they're, they, they have a, a story worth telling? You know, they'll have those kind of little boxes and you mark them off that usually says, you know, like excellent, good, bad, fair, you know, that like that and poor. And they just check those off and then they just write a little thing about, uh, I, feel that this, that I, I feel that the character, that the hero is too weak and there's just not enough interest in here, uh, you know, for us, there's not enough uh, uh, at stake for us to really root for him. You know, so they might give a few things. What a consultation does is they not only read your whole script, they go through and they usually tell you exactly what they feel does not work. They get into details. Uh, 
your dialogue is too on the news, or uh, we, you, you mentioned this character in the beginning, but we don't know why do you include this character if there's no payoff at the end for the character? Or they'll say, gosh, you know, I, I, I like your hero, but you know, you're, um, for some reason, I don't quite understand why your dialogue doesn't match the personality that you've given him. That happens a lot too where you know people people put their own words into the character rather than the character's words into the dialogue and that happens a lot too so that those are just some of the things that you know that consultants will find uh, I think the good thing too about having a consultant is they will tell you you know if you like for right now if you send in something that has to do with zombies or it has to do with you know, uh, dystopian ideas and stuff. Sometimes they'll, you know, a consultant will say, you know, look, they they don't mind, but it has to have this and this and this. Zombies are are we've had too much uh, too many submissions on that. They probably are uh, their chances kind of go down if it's if it's about zombies. I mean, they they will give you hopefully some up to date information on what they re, they they've gleaned from reading the trade papers and and all that. So I. That's what I do when I do a consultation. I will be very upfront about what I feel works and doesn't work uh, about it. They're not just about the writing, but about the script in general and how the marketplace is now. Because I don't want to ever lead them in the wrong direction. And I, I will be very upfront. I'm not going to be like brutal in my, I'm not, I try not to be brutal because nobody deserves that. But if somebody, I, I recently had somebody last year send me a, a script about zombies, and I had to be very honest about it. And I said, you know, this would have been a good script to, to, for people to consider three years ago. Unfortunately, I know for a fact that uh, I was recently at such and such, you know, at, at the script fest, and, and I know that several agents have said they do, do not want to see any more zombie scripts. They feel that, that, that there have just been too many of them. I mean, you, know, you have to be honest about it. I don't want to build up their hopes on that. I've done things also where I have said, do you think you can make a transition here where instead of zombies, maybe it has to do with something that like, um, that there's, there are people here who are actually aliens who have come to Earth. Or, you know, I, I try to help them come to a way that they can maybe change it so that the heart of the story remains, but the situation itself, like zombies or something, can be changed. I mean, it's, it's different ways of being, you know, different cons, cons, uh, consultations differ a lot. I try to do that if I can with, with mine, and I think a lot of my, my colleagues do that too where we try to find out what we feel is the best of what they are doing and letting them know what that is and that this is this is what we liked about it and then let them know this is what could be a problem uh, and also along with it what whatever new information we can give them such as you know this is we think that zombies have had their run We've uh, been talking to, you know, we've, we were on panels and we've talked to agents and producers and, and uh, this is what seems, you know, this is not, this is the, and I sometimes will even put, these are some of the areas that they're looking at, if they happen to mention anything, you know, like they're looking for, you know, uh, more action pieces or whatever the, whatever, you know, they are looking for. I, I just try to give them a little bit more additional information about where they could take this project or where they could themselves, uh, what they want to start another project, what area they might want to start in.